Welcome aboard Second Chance, a nice enough 500 SE owner's version. The engines are accessed through hatches on the transom decks. There's a shower that comes out of the aft curve section for showering off when you get out of the water. Eight person life raft in the center hatch, easily accessible to the water. There is a Weber Q barbecue that is connected to ship's gas, so no need for extra bottles. Mounts for scuba tanks and fishing rod holders. And the davits for the dinghies are aft. The dinghies lifted into those. There's 2.5 kilowatts of solar, four fixed panels on this arch, two fixed panels on the cabin top, and some walk-on panels as well on the cabin top. Stepping inside, spacious seating at the table. The helm is easily accessed. All the instrumentation is right where you need it. And you get views of all four corners of the boat from the cockpit. All Garmin instrumentation. Yanmar 57 horse engines on both sides. Two powered winches and the jib furler is electric powered as well. Second Chance has canvas that fully encloses the cockpit area. It all drops down either screens or fully closed for uh, basically storm shutters. The non-skid beyond the cockpit area is a painted latex kiwi grip, which is very easy to maintain and cool on the feet. Ample side decks, which are safe underway. The cruise ship does not come with the boat. The barbecue oh. Swivels out in place when in use and can be either tucked in the cockpit or at the uh, walkway in the back. The sugar scoops are nice and low, which allows for easy climb out when you're swimming and easy access to the dinghy with a swim ladder that folds up on the port side. Second Chance has a fully enclosed helm the front panel drops down and it's the harder glass. So it has great visibility even in rainy weather. There's a shot of the uh, solar panels. And you can see on the end of the boom, there's an extension that comes out and it crane lifts the dinghy into the davits. The system works very well. Very generous side decks coming up. And there are jack lines that connect. We'll keep you on these side decks. You can see the great ventilation with all the hatches. And the anchor system is very easy. Easy to access to put on the bridle. Has a new Mantis catamaran bridle and fairly new 3.8 chain, extra halyards, and you can see the, the motor on the base of the jib for the furler, all motorized. Easy to access everything you need at the base of the mast. And here's an image from top of the deck of all the solar panels. There is a two-person helm seat, which is very comfortable and has a footstool. A 
across, you see an ice maker. Can also be used just as a freezer if needed. And under the bench here, there is a very large refrigerator. Well insulated. The cockpit flooring is Stazo, which is a cork material. And in the cockpit for nighttime, there's very nice warm white LED lighting. And the, the hatch above the helm acts as a wind scoop. There's another large hatch on the port side as well for a great airflow. And there is a Bluetooth sound system, speakers in the cockpit and inside in the salon. Beautiful wood dining table. There's storage under the lockers all the way around the cockpit. And a large, generous door between the cockpit and the salon. There's also a snap-in screen system with a magnet closure. If there are bugs, you can snap that in. Coming in, spacious salon. You can seat as many or more at that table as you can outside. And we have a dual fridge-freezer combo on this side. The VHF radio, stereo, and TV are here, as well as a bar area and the mounted EPIRB. You can see the, the flooring and the warmth of the maple. There is a coffee or breakfast bar with ample storage to your left. And then the galley, four burner stove, cooktop, and full oven, a new microwave. Nice huge double sink. There's storage under the ottoman, currently all the safety gear. The table pushes down and becomes that whole area becomes a bed, which is very useful underway as a place for crew to sleep. There are thought out storage spots for glasses and things. And the drawers are solid wood, very deep on sliders. And all the storage in this area are all drawers, as well as on the end of the cabinets here. The television is a modern TV where you can stream internet through the television. And the chart plotter can display on the television as well, so underway crew can even see what the person at the helm is looking at, and that can also be displayed in the master cabin. There are receptacles for both European power and US 110 volt. The boat was originally just European powered. And there is air conditioning throughout the interior of the boat an image from the port side looking back across the salon. The majority of the interior hatches have the ocean air screen and blinder system built in and great airflow as well as airflow in the windows in the center of the boat. And as you can see just a phenomenal view outside from the salon. Walking down into the starboard side, guest cabins. 
to the right, there's a, a pantry with four shelves, well ventilated. The lattice doors, you can see all the, the real maple lattice doors. Coming into the guest cabin aft, it's a queen bed. All of the beds have a memory foam topper, which are really comfortable. They all have very good ventilation. The, uh, the lower window that you see there actually has a visor on the outside, so it can be left open in any, any weather. And this cabin has two of the Sirocco fans. Very quiet. A lot of storage here. All these doors with the lattice allow the uh, contents to breathe so you don't get mold. Here's the guest head for the aft cabin. We have Vetus heads, electric flush, fresh water, so you don't have that salty water smell. And very generous shower. Very good pressure. There's two fresh water pumps on board so that both work in tandem. And then coming forward, see there's a large freezer. Inside the freezer, there's separate doors that keep, so if you know where everything is, you only have to open what you need. You're not letting all the cold air spill out. Very solid. And the electric panels are very well done. So we have a 230 volt European panel, a 120 volt American power panel, and it's all able to monitor everything from the Victron color control. We're actually running both air conditioners right now off of batteries. Generator, water maker control, and the DC panel also has the uh, tank monitor built in. And then this is the mid cabin guest cabin. Another queen bunk, nice warm lighting. And another Scirocco fan. You can see the uh, air conditioning control is here. And again, there's ample storage in this cabin. Huge, huge lockers hanging in shelves. And then below as well, huge lockers. And there's ample ventilation with the multiple hatches, got the portholes, and then in this cabin, two large overhead that open forward. And the guest head on this side. There's great storage behind all the, the mirrors and the heads. And then coming into this shower, which is a massive shower forward there's storage we have all the fenders but then there's also a washing machine and then that machine is large enough you can even do the comforters on board so then we hang everything out to dry and in each forward head there are the escape hatches so these hatches can be left open when at anchor, and there's huge airflow through those. And they can be left open even in, wet, in bad weather because they, uh, the angle they're at, rain does not fall through those. And all of these, all of these hatches, or the majority of these hatches have the, the screen or the full blinder shade controls so that uh, you can have kind of blackout for sleeping or when the windows are open, if there's bugs, you can have the screens. Coming back to the aft cabin, both aft cabins have huge storage underneath the bunks. The bunks are on hydraulic lifters, so they're easy to pull up. And that storage goes all the way to that floor level you see below. Uh, massive storage. On the master side, there is the hot water heater in the aft storage bay, but there's still uh, a pretty huge amount left to store. It's noon on March 8th, 
in Spanish wells. And we're running both air conditioners off the solar and charging the batteries. All right, going down into the port owner side of the boat. You can see just a massive owner suite on this side. Another queen bed, with a memory foam topper. Yeah, there is storage everywhere. Again, vented lockers here, so things stay nice and fresh. And under the bed is storage, under the bench on the left is storage. And storage in the cabin and up above. The owner side has very nice lighting and has a new smart TV. You can stream things through the Wi-Fi and two of the Shraco two elite fans, which are very powerful and quiet. And both the aft cabins have these great windows to let in light with uh, the accordion shades that just pull down easily. Coming back this way, let's see the size. It's the whole hull. It's very massive. Very, you don't feel at all claustrophobic in uh, any of these cabins. Uh, there's a desk area here, storage above and below. And then coming forward, a vanity on the right. It is a full vanity. It actually opens and has storage for makeup and that sort of thing with a nice mirror. Above is the equipment room. You can actually get into this space and work while in it. So massive. We have the uh, water maker, there's a fuel polisher, generator, 9, 9kW Kohler generator, and two European powered inverter chargers and one US inverter charger. And circuit breakers and the such. This room is, is vented with it and with light with that hatch. And there's a solar vent to keep these the different equipment cool. There's a spout here that allows you to fill water jugs directly from the water maker. So if you don't want to drink out of the tank, you can fill jugs directly and know that it hasn't sat in a tank. And then in this locker, it's just a bit of a peek, but all of the, the main battery switch, inverter switches, house bank main, are all accessible here. And there is a isolation transformer for shore power. And the batteries are beyond, but not visible here. Coming in, nice spacious bathroom. There is storage in all of the lockers across from the head. So you can, you can see just everywhere there is a, on the boat, nice deep, large storage, well done. Solid wood maple doors and trim and uh, just premium finishes throughout. Here in the shower floor in the four peak, another storage bay. Got our luggage and lots of spares. Below that hatch are other bins with spares and, and different boat needs. And again, the same as the other side. We've got the uh, either screen or blackout shades on the majority of the hatches here. The ceilings in the halls are, as well as in the salon are very tall. The, uh, the base clearance for me, I'm six foot two is probably about seven inches where there are bulkheads a little lower, but still don't even come close to hitting my head. And then the, uh, the entire owner side has this door on a track system that closes off for privacy. It works very well. <laughs>